Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm very pleased to present our job done uh, with uh, Ferroz Bougibar. I'm a thoracic surgeon in Rouen University Hospital, France. Lung resection leads to significant morbidity, especially in patients with impaired cardiorespiratory function. Within this context, numerous proprioactive assessments are carried out in order to determine the surgical option and to estimate the operative risk. The European and American guidelines recommend the use of pre-op low technology exercise tests to predict post-operative outcomes after major lung surgery. To date, no study has evaluated seat to stand test and six minute stepper test in pre-op thoracic surgery. Our prospective study enroll consecutive patients requiring major lung resection with video or robotic assisted thoracic surgery for non-small lung cancer. Patient perform six minute stepper test and seat to stand test during the pre-op consultation. Six minute stepper test was done using a stepper with a working height of 20 centimeters. Patients were instructed to make the maximum number of steps possible in six minutes. The seat to stand test was done using a chair. Patient was instructed to sit when do the maximum number of lifts possible in one minute with arm folded and without leaning against the chair. For both tests, the number of repetition, heart rate, saturation and dyspnea were recorded. Primary objective of this study was to analyze the predictive performance of the number of repetition for complication of grade greater than or equal to two according to Clavian Dando classification. Complication were noted up to 90 days. Between November 2018 and November 2019, the data of 118 patients were analyzed, 20 in the RAT groups and 88 in the VATS group. The area under the receiver operating curve of the number of repetition to predict a post-operative complication of grade greater than or equal to 2 was 0.82 steps for 6 minutes taper test and 0.85 for seat to stand test. The optimum cutoff was 140 steps for stepper test and 20 lift for seat to stand test. We found that both tests were strongly associated with postoperative morbidity. Six minute stepper test and seat to stand test are cheap, widely reproducible and require minimal personnel and equipment. They are easily achievable during the preoperative consultation at a time when the surgeon needs to determine operability. The evolution of surgical techniques in recent years has allowed a decrease in postoperative morbidity. However, we do not yet find preoperative risk assessment guidelines based only on patients operated by minimal invasive techniques. As part of this work, we included only patients operated by these minimal invasive techniques. Our results indicate that low technology tests can be used as a first line functional screening test to predict postoperative morbidity following thoracic surgery and that patient achieving fewer than 20 lift at seat to stand test or fewer than 140 steps at six minutes taper test are patient at risk of major complication. They should be referred to formal cardiopulmonary exercise, testing and prehabilitation before surgery. Again, I would like to thank you, uh, my team and Ferus Bougibar, uh, who uh, performed the major part of this work. And we have a fantastic physiotherapist team involved in this uh, program. Thank you very much.